Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am so stoked for this one because we are talking about exploring, diving into whatever other verb you want to use, Malta. This place is absolutely insane. Beautiful Mediterranean island with crazy history, good food, what's not to love. We are breaking down the top 10 places you have to hit if you find yourself in Malta. And trust me, after watching this video, you are going to want to book that plane ticket as soon as possible. But before we jump into this incredible island, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ding that bell so you don't miss out on any of the adventures. All right, let's do this. First up, we're in Valletta, the capital of Malta. This place is like walking through a history book, but like a really, really cool history book. Everywhere you look, there's these massive stone walls built by the Knights of St. John back in the day. You can practically feel the history echoing through the streets here. And the architecture? Forget about it. Baroque masterpieces on every corner. Seriously, I was geeking out over the details, the ornate balconies, the intricate doorways. And the best part is, you can just wander around and discover hidden gems. Tiny cafes tucked away down cobblestone alleys, stunning views of the Grand Harbor from the upper Baraka Gardens. It's the kind of place that makes you want to pull out your camera and shoot everything. But honestly, even the best photos don't do it justice. You gotta be here, feel the energy of the city, the way the sun hits the honey-colored stone. Valletta is a sensory overload in the best possible way. Oh, and don't even get me started on the food. We're talking fresh seafood, amazing pasta dishes, all with that Mediterranean flair. I'm telling you, Valletta is a must-see. Next up, we're heading to Medina, also known as the Silent City. And trust me, this place lives up to its name. Imagine this, narrow winding streets, ancient buildings that seem to whisper stories of the past, and a sense of peace that's almost tangible. It's like stepping back in time to a place where life moves at a slower pace. You won't find any cars here, just the echo of your own footsteps and the occasional horse-drawn carriage. We're talking about a city that's been around since medieval times, and you can feel that history in every stone, every archway. The main gate to the city looks like something out of Game of Thrones, and the views from the city walls are absolutely breathtaking. You can see for miles across the island, rolling hills, church steeples in the distance. It's the kind of place that makes you want to just breathe deep and soak it all in, and if you're a photography buff, get ready to fill your memory card. Medina is a photographer's dream, with its golden light, dramatic shadows, and endless opportunities for stunning shots. All right, time to switch gears and head to the coast because we're talking about the Blue Lagoon. This place is like something out of a postcard, seriously. Imagine crystal clear turquoise water so blue it seems unreal, surrounded by these towering cliffs and white sand beaches. You can literally see straight down to the bottom, it's that clear. We're talking perfect snorkeling and diving conditions, or if you're like me, just grab a floaty and soak up the sun. The Blue Lagoon is located between the islands of Camino and Cominado, so you gotta hop on a boat to get there. But trust me, it's worth the trip. The water is warm, the vibes are chill, and you're surrounded by some of the most stunning natural beauty in the Mediterranean. It's the perfect place to relax, recharge, and just forget about your worries for a while. Just a heads up, this place can get pretty crowded during peak season, so if you're looking for a more secluded experience, try to visit during the shoulder seasons. Next up, we're hopping over to Gozo, Malta's little sister island. Now, if you thought Malta was chill, Gozo takes it to a whole other level. We're talking rolling hills dotted with farmhouses, picturesque villages, and a pace of life that's all about slowing down and enjoying the moment. You can explore ancient temples, wander through charming markets, or just find a secluded beach and soak up the sun. One of my favorite things about Gozo is the coastline. Dramatic cliffs plunging into the sea, hidden coves just waiting to be discovered, and some of the best diving spots in the Mediterranean. If you're into history, make sure to check out Jantia temples, which are even older than the pyramids of Egypt. We're talking about megalithic structures that have been standing for thousands of years. It's mind-blowing. And of course, no trip to Gozo would be complete without trying the food. Think fresh seafood, locally grown produce, and dishes that have been passed down through generations. All right, guys, get ready for this one because we're heading to St. Peter's Pool, and this place is just insane. Imagine a natural swimming pool carved out of the rocks by the crashing waves 
with crystal clear turquoise water and these incredible cliffs, perfect for cliff jumping. It's like something out of an adventure movie. You can swim, sunbathe, or if you're feeling brave, take the plunge from the rocks. Just a heads up, the jump can be a little intimidating, but trust me, the feeling of free falling into that water is totally worth it. And even if you're not a daredevil, St. Peter's Pool is still worth a visit. The scenery is absolutely breathtaking, and there's nothing quite like taking a dip in that cool, refreshing water on a hot day. It's the perfect place to escape the crowds and connect with nature. Plus, it's a great spot for snorkeling. The water is crystal clear, and there are all sorts of fish and marine life to see. Next up, we're heading to Marzak's Lock, a traditional fishing village that's about as charming as it gets. This place is all about colorful fishing boats bobbing in the harbor, fresh seafood restaurants lining the waterfront, and a laid-back vibe that's instantly contagious. Make sure to check out the Marsex Lock Market, where you can find everything from fresh produce to local crafts. It's the perfect place to soak up the local culture, haggle for souvenirs, and just enjoy the lively atmosphere. And speaking of atmosphere, Marsex Lock is known for its incredible sunsets. As the sun starts to dip below the horizon, the sky explodes in a riot of colors, casting a warm glow over the harbor. It's the kind of sight that makes you want to grab a drink, find a spot on the waterfront, and just savor the moment. And of course, no trip to Marsak's Lock would be complete without trying the seafood. We're talking fresh off the boat catches cooked to perfection. Chapter 7 Get ready to be transported back in time because we're heading to Hagar Chim and Menajdra temples, some of the oldest freestanding structures in the world. We're talking about megalithic temples that predate Stonehenge, older than the pyramids of Egypt. It's mind-blowing to think about the people who built these structures, their beliefs, their way of life. It's like stepping into a time capsule. The temples are located on a rugged clifftop overlooking the sea, and the setting just adds to the mystique. You can wander through the ruins, marvel at the massive stones and try to imagine what life was like thousands of years ago. These temples are a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and for good reason. They offer a fascinating glimpse into Malta's prehistoric past, and they're a must-see for anyone interested in history, archaeology, or just ancient mysteries. Plus, the views from the clifftop are absolutely stunning. You can see for miles across the Mediterranean, and it's the perfect place to catch the sunset. All right, guys, we're heading back to the water, this time to the island of Camino. Now, Camino is tiny, like really tiny, but it's also incredibly beautiful with crystal clear water, secluded beaches, and a sense of tranquility that's hard to find anywhere else. If you're looking for a place to escape the crowds, relax on pristine beaches, and swim in some of the most beautiful water in the Mediterranean, Camino is your spot. The island is also a haven for hikers, with trails winding through rugged cliffs, offering stunning views of the coastline. And if you're a diving enthusiast, Camino is home to some of the best dive sites in Malta, with underwater caves, reefs, and wrecks just waiting to be explored. But honestly, one of the best things to do in Camino is just find a secluded spot on the beach, lay down your towel, and soak up the sun. Next up, we're heading to Golden Bay, and this place lives up to its name. We're talking about a stunning sandy beach with golden sand that stretches as far as the eye can see. It's the perfect place to relax, soak up the sun, and take a dip in the crystal clear water. And if you're a surfer, Golden Bay is known for its great waves, especially during the winter months. But honestly, one of the best things about Golden Bay is the sunset. As the sun starts to dip below the horizon, the sky explodes in a riot of colors, casting a warm glow over the sand and the water. It's the kind of sunset that makes you want to grab your camera, find a comfortable spot on the beach, and just soak it all in. And if you're feeling adventurous, there are plenty of hiking trails that wind their way along the cliffs, offering stunning views of the coastline. Last but not least, we're heading to Popeye Village, a place that's as fun as it is unique. Now, this place started out as a film set for the 1980 Popeye musical, but it's since been transformed into a quirky and charming theme park. We're talking about colorful wooden houses, winding streets, and a whole lot of Popeye-themed fun. You can explore the village, meet Popeye in olive oil, watch shows, and even go for a swim in Anchor Bay. It's a great place to let loose, embrace your inner child, and just have some fun. Plus, the setting is absolutely beautiful, with the village nestled in a picturesque bay. 
and if you're a fan of the classic Popeye cartoons, you're going to love this place. It's like stepping right into the cartoon world. But even if you're not a diehard Popeye fan, Popeye Village is still a fun and unique place to visit, especially if you have kids. And there you have it guys, the top 10 must-see places in Malta. From ancient cities and stunning beaches to charming villages and quirky theme parks, Malta has something for everyone. So what are you waiting for? Book that trip, pack your bags, and get ready to experience the magic of Malta for yourself. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ding that bell so you don't miss out on any of the adventures. Until next time, peace out.